Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections and today I'm excited to share with you guys another watch review and this is by a company called Boulder and Boulder is what I would consider kind of a micro brand company and uh, they've been around for a little while now and they have about five different watches in their lineup and the watches they do have or in their collections is called the Venture the Globetrotter, which is on pre-order right now, their newest one is the Venture, Expedition, Explorer, Odyssey, Journey, and Voyager. Now, I originally reached out to them uh, to get my hands on the Odyssey. Uh, really spoke to me that watch, uh, but unfortunately, because it's one of their watches that's actually a limited edition timepiece, uh, I think they're not really having any problems selling them, of course, so they wanted to send me one of their newer models. And so they sent me the Voyager. And uh, I definitely encourage you to check out my links in the description. I'll put links where you can buy all these different watches for the best value. Uh, they do ship uh, what appears to be worldwide, and there's different price points on their watches like anything else. So um, I am pretty excited about the one that they did send me because... Uh, I've been kind of on a kick lately when I request a watch from a company for review. I like to try to get something that's a little bit different. And let's face it, you know, when you start looking at watches that are kind of share, uh, you know, and not bashing on any brands at all. I love all watches. But, you know, there are, there are watches that are uh, subtle, more over the top. And there are watches that are boring. And again, that's all personal preference, of course. But, you know, what I like is anytime I get a watch that's very simplistic, we'll say. And when I say simplistic, you know, when you look at like a Rolex design or a Pro Diver even, it's a basic design. And for me, I like watches that are a little bit unique and a little more over the top, you know. So what I like about this one here is actually made in a different metal than stainless steel. And it's made of brass. So I have several watches in my collection that are actually made of of. of uh, of the bronze material and unfortunately no gold gold's pretty expensive so i probably uh wouldn't rationalize ever getting my hands on a gold watch uh but you never know down the road you never know if that's something that really i see something that speaks to me i think the plating process on anything gold nowadays from invicta aragon so good that i never have any issues with that but uh you get the look you don't have to pay the price right uh and, and lots of companies you know plate their watches, tons of them across the board. But I do like getting something made of different materials. So this is my first watch I've ever had in brass. And this is a military grade brass. Um, each one of their seven different variations of this watch are made of brass with different colors, whether that be the strap and the bezel and the face, that's the differences. So this one here is called the Caspian and I wanna go ahead and show you what it looks like right now. And I'll show you some uh, close-ups in a second. And we'll talk a little bit more about the specifics of the watch. Uh, very, very basic watch, basic in design. I would consider it something similar um, to like, you know, your Rolex style. It's basic, it's simple, there's not really much going on with it. Uh, but what I do like is the fact, again, that it's made of brass. And I think that's a pretty cool uh, talking feature of the watch. I think it's, you know, like I said, I don't see a lot of watches out there made of brass. So it is very unique. Uh, so... The names of the watches are actually named after seas or oceans. They have the Caspian, which is this one right here. They have the Pacific, the Atlantic. They have the Adriatic, the Mediterranean, the Aegean. I think I'm saying that right. I know if I'm wrong, you guys will let me know. Um, the Aegean, 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 A, ah, God. Anyway, guys, you get the point. And of course, the Arctic. Uh, got that one right. Nailed it. Uh, so, yeah, so they're basically like the Pacific is done with the same case with a blue strap. And they're done on a Zulu NATO strap. Uh, of course, you could change it if you didn't like it. But I, it's my first uh, NATO strap, and I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Pacific's going to be done with a blue bezel, blue face. This one's done in a brown bezel. More of like a, actually more of a copper bezel in a brown face, brown bed. The Atlantic goes with that green on green. The Adriatic actually does a matching brass bezel. Mediterranean matching brass bezel with the, the green or blue face. The Aegean. <laughs> uh, that one there uh, is like kind of a slate blue. And the one that sold out is their Arctic. And that was very similar to this one here. Uh, it looks like more of a brown, where this is more of like a copper color. Of the watches that I had the opportunity to pick from, I think this was the nicest one. Uh, price point in this one here is $291.05 USD. And it's probably that because they mainly sell it in their probably the Singapore dollar, it's $399. Uh, so if you, you know, if you equate that out to US dollars, 291.04 uh, euros, 250.98 Australian dollar, 403.69 and British sterling pound, 233.38. And I think that's the only, yes, yeah, the only denominations they have uh, on their website or not denomination, they're only uh, the currencies that they accept. Um, to my knowledge anyway. So anyway, let's talk a little about the watch. Uh, once again, made of marine grade solid brass. Uh, let me take it off here so we can kind of show you while I'm talking about it here. 
you get that Zulu NATO strap, which is kind of like a canvas, I would think. Uh, pretty interesting. It's my first NATO that I've had. Interesting how you actually put this on the watch. I'll show you that in just a second. Very easy to change the band with the NATO strap. Um, the bezel is 120 degree, or 120 click unidirectional. For those of you who need to hear the click, that's what it sounds like. Uh, your loom on this is a, what do they call this? They call this old radium super loom, which is on the dial that, and the, it's a, uh, both old radium. Yeah, on the dial and the hands. Uh, and the dial on this here is, they say it's a brown matte sandwich dial with the custom brass hands. Um, hopefully you can see that by the video here. And that wicked brass case. Uh, screw down crown, of course, and they call this here, uh, it's a dual lock screw down crown. So when you unscrew the crown, it actually pops not once, but twice. So like your standard watch, if you have a date window, that would be the first pop would be adjust your date. This one here you pull out twice to actually adjust the time. And it is powered by a Seiko NH35A automatic movement, which is self winding and hackable. And it has a 42 hour power reserve, 660 feet of water resistance. 20 ATMs or 200 meters. And I think that they mentioned the dual lock screw down crown. I think they're kind of referring to that uh, more like a selling feature because really um, a lot of the Seiko NH35 movements or 34 movements, this one's 35 that I have, actually have the date window. So I think because they didn't put the date window on there, the date of the month, there's no purpose for the second uh, lock. So if you guys know what, what that's all about, um, you know, I mean, drop a comment. I'm sure you will. But um, that's just, you know, it's I have a lot of watches at the Seiko NH35. It's a time-tested, reliable movement, very affordable as well. And what else about it? Uh, you have a double dome sapphire crystal with an AR coating, 13.5 millimeters in case thickness. That's not including a little bit from the band right there. 48 millimeters lug to lug, lug size is 20 millimeters. And the back is a single piece screw down back with engraved limited edition designer artwork. Uh, that's about the specifics of the watch. So let me go ahead and take it off the strap. Um, I love the strap, it's pretty cool. I like how they have these quadruple buckles on it and this has some this uh, plays a part in how you put the band on the watch so just to show you in the back when i take it off basically just pull it right out of the first buckle and you basically just pull the strap right out from behind the watch like so so super easy to change that um if you look at the back here you'll see what appears to be an octopus uh with a divers an old school divers helmet on or mask or breathing apparatus whatever you may call it um, and of course, these are standard spring bars. So if you ever want to put a different band on it, you could. This might look pretty nice with an Aragon mesh band, uh, which I just happen to have the Caprice right here. This could look pretty cool with that. But, you know, I, I kind of like the NATO strap, and I think I'm going to keep it uh, with this strap for a while because it is kind of hard to find once you start getting involved in cases that are made of either brass or, um, or bronze. It's hard to find matching bracelet bands that actually match that. So you'd have to go with like a silver or, you know, a rose gold kind of, might look kind of funny. Yellow gold wouldn't really match perfectly. So um, I like the fact that, that the strap actually, the buckles match the watch for the most part. They're awfully close. So pretty easy to put it back on. Uh, basically all you do is you strap it right through your first uh, spring bar, through the second, right on through the back of the watch, pull it all the way up and then bring it right through the buckle, and you have changed the strap. Really easy to put that on. So if you wanted to change this up, I think this would look uh, pretty nice on a white uh, a, a white strap. I might buy one. White always goes with everything, so I think that will look pretty cool. So we'll just have to see. You know, we'll kind of change it up, customize it a little bit, and uh, we'll find out what you guys think. Uh, so once again, there it is. A couple close-up shots here. Uh, very unique brass case. Again, I have not seen many companies making a solid brass watch. I'm curious to see how it ages in time, whether it's gone patina or uh, changed a little bit. I know brass tends to tarnish a little, so be interested to see what it looks like. Maybe you might have to use Brasso to bring it back. Uh, I'm not sure, just as time, we'll find out. And I always come back and re-review product uh, at a later date to let you guys know, you know, is it still working? How do I feel about it? What kind of compliments have I gotten? And you can see that crown with the Boulder logo. As far as the box, nothing really to write home about. This is what I would consider like a fashion watch box. Very basic. Nothing really meant to display the watch in. Uh, just meant to ship it to you. That's really about it. So you guys know I never really get uh, too involved in, in the boxes. To me, it's just a, it, I don't really care. Uh, so pretty cool looking. I mean, I think it's a very interesting watch. Um, I've worn this. I've gotten several compliments on it uh, from my coworkers. And uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, once again, price point on this one here is, again... 
29105 that says it's excluding tax i'm not sure if they would charge you tax on that because i mean it's coming to the united states uh generally you only pay tax on so maybe you're paying the uh i guess the customs tax maybe i'm not really sure but um i will put links in the description where you get this from amazon or ebay they might have a distributor in the united states where you might avoid that but uh just check my links if you are interested um beautiful watch love it i think it's awesome and uh, i just want to go ahead and thank boulder for their generosity in sending me this watch uh to add to my collection and share with you guys now without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like on the wrist now this watch can get pretty small there's lots of loops on this or lots of holes in this thing to really size it down you can almost put this on a kid's wrist uh good to know if you're looking to buy your little kid a watch i mean i don't know get them involved in watch collecting early uh plenty of room to bring it down um it's a good looking watch guys there's really nothing negative i have to say about it and again oh if i didn't mention 42 millimeter again 42 millimeter uh diameter so it's pretty much the size of like your rolex or your pro diver uh so 42 millimeter is always kind of like the standard size men's watches again you know watches are people are wearing much larger watches a woman could wear this a kid even like i said uh really anybody so um i like it i think it's pretty cool and definitely unique and definitely uh, something, you know, it has a story made of brass, you know, it's different, uh, you know, and that's something I always, what I like about watches, having a nice big selection of watches that are different and, uh, I don't know, just they're conversation pieces. Uh, I love it when, and I can't tell you the number of times I'm sitting at a bar or at work or whatever and somebody's like, oh man, what is that? You know, and, uh, oh, before I ramble on too much, seven inch wrist, 170 pounds, and uh, five foot seven and a half. So naturally, seven inch wrist, all these watches look pretty darn big on me, even a 42 millimeter. Good looking watch, folks. All right, so, uh, what was I saying? Uh, nah, I forgot, doesn't matter. So uh, I definitely encourage you to check my links. Also check out their website. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm on here right now and they have this brand new one called the Venture. Let me see what that's all about. Um, looks like it's type, made of titanium, so that's kind of cool. And they have a pre-order on the Globe Trotter. Uh, that's a nice looking watch too. Uh, unique design. Oh, the Globe Trotters pre-order is pretty cheap, ninety-eight bucks. Not bad. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Eleven thousand subscribers. Uh, that happened pretty quick. I was just at 10 not that long ago. At 11, I want to keep this rolling. I want that silver play button, 100,000. We got to get there. Uh, but no, guys, uh, anyway, all joking aside, um, thanks for subscribing to the channel. I love sharing this product with you guys. I love answering your questions. And I love, like I said, this channel is for anybody who uh, who loves, you know, smart home tech, colognes, fashion. I mean, uh, I'm always sharing something with you guys. And like I said, if you're respectful, uh, even you Rolex lovers can be a part of it. But uh, let's face it, uh, you know, that doesn't always happen. So um, you don't see, it doesn't always have to be about big over the top. I like all watches. So uh, you, if you like watches as much as I do, uh, you're definitely more than welcome to be part of the channel. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this watch. Uh, let me know if you pick one up. I'm working on a discount code, but for now, I use my links. I'll see if I can get you one uh, at a later date. Uh, you never know. Hopefully, I'll get another one of their watches to share with you guys. I think it's a pretty cool company, and they're making some pretty unique watches. Check out that Odyssey. That thing is awesome. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, and take care.